I'm Joanne from the Full Spectrum Centre Limited, an award-winning wellness and vocational training centre, and you're listening to the Full Spectrum Wellness Podcast. This show is all about physical, mental, emotional and spiritual wellness, and it's for people who are looking to improve their overall health and well-being. Each week, I'll share with you all the positive takeaways, tools, techniques and tips that I've gathered in both my personal and professional wellness journey that will help you to look, feel and be well. With a dose of motivation and meditation to keep you going, I'll be joined by a few friends who will be sharing their insights along the way too. Welcome to episode 25 of our Full Spectrum Wellness Podcast. I'm so happy and excited to be back here with you for our 25th episode. Now today I want to share my thoughts and experiences with you on how to achieve a balanced life. We all have different priorities and responsibilities in our lives, such as work, family, relationships, hobbies and personal goals. And balancing all these areas can be really challenging, but it is essential for our overall well-being. Now, to me, a balanced life means having enough time and energy to devote to each area of my life without neglecting any of them. It means being able to manage stress, maintain good health and enjoy life's little moments. One of the most important things I've learned on my journey towards balance is the importance of setting priorities. By identifying what matters most to me, I can allocate my time and energy accordingly For example, if my dogs, Rosie and Daisy, are my top priority, then I'll make sure to spend quality time with them, even if it means saying no to other activities or commitments. Another key aspect of balance is self-care. It's really easy to get caught up in the demands of daily life and to neglect our own needs, but self-care is essential for our physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health. Now, this can include things like exercise, healthy eating, getting enough sleep and enjoying time to relax and recharge. Putting your needs first is quite literally the key to a happier and healthy you and to a balanced life. Now, it's easy to become consumed by work, family and daily life demands. The truth is, prioritising your needs is essential for optimal well-being and productivity. And of course, focusing and performing at your best when you're unhealthy or unhappy isn't easy. Prioritising self-care is crucial for maintaining your mental, physical, emotional and spiritual health, ultimately allowing you to be more present and engaged in all aspects of your life. As life gets busier, forgetting about your own needs and focusing solely on the needs of others often happens without us even realising it. However, prioritising your well-being is essential for maintaining health and happiness and balance. To ensure that you are doing your best in this regard, follow these tips. The first one is to schedule time for self-care. One of the best ways to prioritise your needs is by scheduling time for self-care and treating it as a non-negotiable appointment by scheduling that time and sticking to it. Scheduling time for activities that promote your well-being And that could be exercise, hobbies or meditation. Just ensure that you're making time for yourself even when your schedule is busy. The second tip is to set boundaries. Now, establishing clear boundaries for yourself and others is crucial for ensuring that you have dedicated time. Communicating your boundaries to your friends and family and colleagues ensures that they are respected. Plus, don't forget to take breaks throughout the day, designate specific times for work and leisure and turn off your phone while focusing on self-care. The next tip is to listen to your body, pay attention to it and respond to its cues. The signals your body sends you, whether that's fatigue, hunger or stress are really important. Your body is telling you what it needs and you just need to listen. Once you hear what your body is saying, take the necessary steps to address your needs. Now, that might be taking a break from work. It might be practicing relaxation techniques or seeking the support of a therapist or other healthcare provider. But you must listen and you must act accordingly. And another one, it's a big one. Practice saying no. Recognize that it's okay to decline invitations or requests when you need to focus on your well-being. 
Practicing saying no can help you to set boundaries and prioritise your own needs without feeling guilty or obligated. Remember, practicing self-care is essential for showing up as your best self for others and for yourself. You'll experience numerous benefits in the process. You'll improve your mental health. You'll have greater self-awareness. You'll increase your self-esteem. You'll have better physical health. You'll have increased productivity. You'll improve your relationships. You'll have a greater sense of purpose. You'll have more energy for sure. You'll have reduced guilt and you'll have increased happiness. Putting your needs first is not selfish, especially if you're not neglecting your responsibilities, disregarding others or using self-care to engage in unhealthy behaviour. Self-care is a necessary action that you must take to maintain a healthy and balanced life. You'll enjoy a more fulfilling existence by prioritising self-care and by focusing on your well-being. So don't forget to schedule time for yourself to set those boundaries and to engage in activities that promote your happiness and health. It's also important to have a support system in place when we're looking at a balanced life. Now, whether that's family, friends or a professional therapist, coach or counsellor, just having someone to talk to and to lean on during difficult times can make all the difference. Now, as a busy female entrepreneur, business owner and professional, achieving balance can be especially challenging. In addition to the responsibilities of work and family, there are often added pressures and expectations placed on women in these roles. One struggle I face, and I'm going to be honest, is finding time for myself. As an entrepreneur and business owner, there is always something that needs to be done. And it can be really hard to step away from that work, particularly for me, because I love what I do and I do what I love. I often find myself working long hours, sacrificing sleep and exercise and neglecting my own needs in the process. Another challenge is juggling multiple roles and responsibilities. As a business owner, I wear many different hats and I'm responsible for everything from sales and marketing to operations and finances. And this can be overwhelming at times and it can be really difficult to prioritise and manage my time effectively. But despite these challenges, I've learned that it's important to prioritise self-care and to set boundaries whether it's scheduling time for exercise or meditation or delegating tasks to others where I can or say no to additional responsibilities, these small steps can help me maintain balance and prevent burnout. I've also found that having a supportive network of other women entrepreneurs and professionals can make a big difference. Just being able to share experiences, ask for advice and get encouragement from others who understand the unique challenges we face can be incredibly empowering. Now, if you have a balanced life, you will prioritise self-care. As we've said, you'll make time for activities that promote your physical, emotional, mental and spiritual well-being. Maybe it's exercising, meditating, getting enough sleep, going for a daily walk or a jog, practicing yoga, taking a relaxing bath or just reading a book before bed. These are all fantastic examples of taking care of yourself. If you have a balanced life, you'll have fulfilling relationships. So you'll invest time and effort in building healthy and positive relationships with family, friends and colleagues. You'll catch up regularly, you'll organise gatherings or you'll actively participate in clubs and groups. If you have a balanced life, you'll have a healthy work-life balance. You'll be able to manage your work commitments and personal responsibilities in a way that allows you to enjoy your free time and pursue your hobbies. Now, this might look like setting boundaries and sticking to a schedule that enables you to focus on work during work hours and dedicate time to personal activities after work. If you have a balanced life, you'll practice mindfulness. You'll be present in the moment and you'll focus on what you're doing right now without being distracted by external factors or without worrying about stuff you just can't control. Plus, you'll find yourself practicing deep breathing exercises, meditation or even mindful walking in your daily routine because now it's a habit. If you have a balanced life, you'll have a sense of purpose. You'll understand your values, goals and aspirations and you'll be working towards them. You'll habitually set clear goals and actively work towards achieving them. 
where you can, you'll volunteer for causes that you're passionate about and you'll never hesitate to pursue a hobby that brings you joy. If you have a balanced life, you'll manage stress effectively. You'll have developed healthy coping mechanisms to manage stress and avoid burnout by taking daily breaks, practicing relaxation techniques or seeking professional help. If you have a balanced life, you'll have a positive attitude. You'll approach challenges with a positive mindset and you'll always look for opportunities for growth and learning in different situations. As a result, you'll become adept at reframing negative thoughts into positive ones. You'll practice gratitude and you'll seek opportunities for personal growth and development. If you have a balanced life, you'll be financially stable. You'll have a balanced approach to money and you'll carefully manage your finances to support your goals and values. Because of this, you'll have no issues budgeting, saving money, seeking financial advice and investing in education and career development. If you have a balanced life, you'll have a healthy lifestyle. Your diet will be healthy. You'll exercise regularly. You'll avoid harmful habits such as smoking or excessive drinking practicing good sleep hygiene and avoiding destructive habits and you won't struggle with doing the right thing for yourself. If you have a balanced life you'll have a fulfilling social life. You'll enjoy spending time with loved ones and participating in social activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. You might have joined a sports team or a club, volunteered for a community organisation or participated in social events with friends and family without feeling put out or stressed. Now, it's important to ask yourself honestly, how many of these signs of a balanced life apply to me? For example, ask yourself, am I prioritising self-care? Am I managing my stress effectively? Am I pursuing activities that bring me joy and meaning? Or am I stuck in a cycle of work, anxiety, exhaustion, Am I neglecting the other areas of my life that matter? I believe that a balanced life requires a willingness to be flexible and adapt to changes. Life, as we know, is unpredictable and we may need to adjust our priorities or routines from time to time. By staying open-minded and adaptable, we can navigate life challenges more effectively. Achieving balance as a female entrepreneur, business owner and professional, as I said, is not easy, but it is possible. By prioritising self-care, setting boundaries and building that supportive network, we can navigate these challenges and create fulfilling, meaningful lives, both personally and professionally. Achieving a balanced life is an ongoing journey that requires patience, self-reflection and a willingness to make changes. By setting priorities, practicing self-care, building a support system and staying flexible, we can create a life that feels fulfilling, meaningful and balanced. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this episode really helpful. Thanks for listening to this week's episode. I hope you found the discussion and the tips covered really helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave a rating and a review and share it with your friends and family. Pop along to our website at thefullspectrumcenterlimited.com and join our self-care and wellness newsletter club. You'll receive our free 55-page printable self-care guide and workbook. Well, that's all for this episode, but I really look forward to seeing you next week. Take care and bye for now.